Welcome to Uncontained, episode 174. I'm your host, Aaron Static Render. And one of the phrases that's been going around the internet, social media, self-help, and all that stuff is trust in the process. Uh, seems to be a key phrase for entrepreneurs, entertainers that want to achieve that end goal. And the process can be hard. It can be a struggle. And sometimes... Sometimes I, you know, I even get down a little bit wondering, is the process advancing? Am I, am I working the process? Am I getting to where I want to be? And I kind of want to shed some light on trusting the process and also dive into a few of the, a few of the podcasters or people such as Gary Vanderchuk, Lewis Howes, even Chris Hardwick that uh, help me when I feel that I'm struggling with the process. I, I, I actually went back and listened to episode 168 of Lewis Howes' School of Greatness, and he was, he was reflecting on, from the time that show came out, which was back in 2015, it was seven years before that he was at a conference in Philadelphia and he only had a hundred bucks in his pocket and had a hostel rented and he went to the conference, came back, the place was covered in puke. Yes, the, the floors were, the bed where he was supposed to sleep was puked on and all of that and through that he ended up getting what he said was probably one of the worst nights of sleep of his life. And then went on to the second day of the conference. When he came back, even though he paid for the bed in the hostel, they rented it out to somebody else. So he was wandering around the streets of Philadelphia at night, no place to stay, carrying his carry-on luggage with him. And eventually found a couple in a bar that he convinced to let him crash on their couch. And... Uh, from that, he's like, I learned valuable lessons. And also, he decided that was a moment when I wanted to take this podcasting thing to the next level. He later went and talked to one of his uh, coaches. And the coach said, unless you are feeling like you're about to unravel, about to come undone, you're staying in your comfort zone. And inside your comfort zone, there is no growth. And after the experience of being stranded, wandering around the streets of Philadelphia with nowhere to go, he decided that he was going to figure out what he had to do to take it to the next level, saying that, you know, it'd be great to have an extra thousand dollars in my bank account and uh, get to the level where he doesn't have to worry about staying in hostels. And he got back and... Basically, he dedicated each and every day he was going to take steps towards his vision and also allow himself to stumble. You're going to fall down. You're going to get knocked down, but it's getting picked back up that uh, helps separate the people who are really, really have that vision and the dedication to get there. If you give up after the first knock, you aren't going to you aren't going to um, get to the level that you hope to get to. And when you are focusing on the end goal and just the end goal alone and not the steps you need to take to get there, that is when a lot of people give up, quit and fail. So I guess my challenge to you is to each day take one step out of your comfort zone. If you are feeling comfortable where you're at, just feel like you're coasting, maybe look and see what you can do to take that next step in your vision to get to where you want to be. Another thing I read, which is actually part of a video series, but I read the article online, it's on Influensive dot com and that's i n f l u e n c i v e i'm not just uh just stumbling over it but it was an interview with uh gary vanderchuk by eric wall and uh, it's about trusting the process and gary v said that every day when he gets uh, to his emails he gets five to 27 emails from people who are 
ready to quit are telling him they're quitting on their book, they're quitting on their passion project, they're quitting on their podcast. And some of them work on it six weeks, nine months, even two years. And they call it quits because they're not seeing the results that they had hoped for. And according to Gary, it's they're lacking patience. And nobody, nobody has ever done it overnight. Um, zero people have had success um, happen to them overnight. Even nine-year-old Stevie Wonder, six-year-old Michael Jackson underwent years of work to reach stardom. There was a lot of work that went into getting to where they're going. Even Gary, from age 15 to 30, worked seven days a week uh, to hone his craft and build and build his business. So basically, he says, if you have the audacity to think that you can go out and do what you love for your life, what you're interested in for the rest of your life, you're not going to give up after six weeks, six months, nine months, two years, or even five years. It's a, it's a process, and you have to love that process. For example, Gary Vaynerchuk, everybody who knows Gary knows that his lifelong passion is to own the New York Jets. But, but the twist on this is Gary loves the process so much that... He said the day that he buys the New York Jets, he'll actually be very disappointed because that chase is over. The blood, sweat, and tears he put into it isn't there anymore. And he actually recorded a video for the day that he does buy the, buy the Jets that he's going to release saying that this is the worst day of his life. So there is a lot to the process, and that process is doing what is necessary and going back to Lewis Howes here he's like for the process do all that you can do for other people without asking for anything in return and it will come back to you in the end and help you achieve that goal another person that I really find to be motivational to me is Chris Hardwick when when I hit some speed bumps and you know have have interviews that have to be rescheduled or have to stay up late working on my show just to get it out. And Chris Hardwick he talks a lot about the process on his show, um, ID10T, and formerly the Nerdist podcast, which he has some great quotes that I will, I'll share some of them with you right here. And I'll put links to all of these articles that I found in the show notes. So you can actually go back, check out what I listened to, what I watched, what I've read to get this information. But Chris Hardwick says, no human has ever become interesting by not failing. And also another quote that I love from him is, worry is a misuse of your imagination. And those right there tell you that the process right there you are going to fail. You're going to get knocked down. But if you have everything handed to you, you're not going to have anything interesting to talk about. You're not going to have that hunger, that drive. It'll just be something and you'll be like, eh, I'm here. I'm just coasting by. But it's those dings, those nicks that give you character and that you can build off of from that. So those are some of the people that I listen to along with uh, – Jordan Harbinger as well. He has the Jordan Harbinger show. And if you need inspiration on the process or information from people who are doing things, that's another great show to listen to. I'd love to have him on my show sometime. Uh, try, I'll work on getting that set up. It's part of the process, right? Part of the reason I love listening to the Jordan Harbinger show is that he just recently had to go through a rebranding of his show because he was working with a former show that uh, he was with for years called The Art of Charm. And, uh, well, just to say, there were some issues. He went his own way, wanted to do his own thing and focus on 
getting people great advice on how to be successful from super successful people. And uh, that's what the Jordan Harbinger show is right now. And uh, part of the reason I... And one of the benefits of listening to him go through the rebranding phase is hearing his process and how he went about it. And if you want to get in on that process and figure out and learn from him, listen to the first uh, few episodes of his new show. He's talking about how he does it, uh, along with great guests along the way. So um, i definitely check that out if you want more information on trusting the process, the, the catchphrase of social media nowadays, uh, check him out at jordanharbinger.com or just check out his uh, show, uh, The Jordan Harbinger Show. So that those are just a few of the people that uh, inspire me and that I take little points and uh, tips from on how to form my own process. The process is going to be individual, but you know, you and only you can really form your own process. Unfortunately, at least not that I found out there isn't one cookie cutter, one size fits all process. You all have different tools that you're working with. You all have a different background places where you start, but as long as you focus on the steps and don't dwell on the end goal. Yeah, you may you may not be getting as many listens as you want right now or as many readers as you want right now. But definitely just stay the course. That's what I'm working on. I know I've been been busy lately and my shows have I'll admit I've been a little off schedule lately, but uh I have I do have interviews lined up for you and uh, looking to do a couple this week, hopefully. So um, I do plan on keeping some great guests coming for you here so you can learn about their process and uh, what they do to uh, be successful in their line of work in the entertainment industry. I appreciate you guys listening, and please, please let me know if this was helpful for you. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, drop me a line. Let me know if this was helpful, if I left something out, if there's somebody that is key to you and your process and that you get a lot of great information from because I want to know. I'm always looking to learn something new and also, you know, just just keep motivated and uh, if as and as and as Gary V said, if you have the audacity to Believe that you are going to be able to do what you love for your life. Those people are not quitters. So so please, go out, live uncontained, and follow your process. Stick with it, and until next time, live uncontained. <laughs>